How's it look, Chris? It looks real good. You like that? I like it. I dig it. That's gonna be the shiniest thing on that car. <laughs> <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, machines and machine freaks, as you can see, I'm here with Crush. He's still missing a wheel. I got kind of irritated with him, so I haven't really put him on the priority list. However, I do have to move him. Now I'm headed to Chris's shop. I'm at Chris's shop. I'm going to show him a clip of the uh, exhaust of the BMW before you guys see it. You like that? I like it. I made it to the warehouse. I'm working on hanging that creeper. That actually sounds pretty funny. No, there aren't literally creepers being hung here, no matter how creepy they may be and how exotic and crazy things might get, you know, seeing this thing. I have to make a mounting system for this new exhaust pipe that we installed yesterday. Man, that thing looks sharp. Right now, our current mounting system is that ugly tack down there. That does add to our steady progression to making this thing like a Mad Max car or a zombie car. A rugged, a mechanical looking car. The adverbs, adjectives continue. That mounting system isn't sufficient and the current mounting system on this is no longer efficient either because there's no hooks. We gotta, we gotta finish this. <laughs> Creepers hung. I don't know why that sounds so satisfying and why it, uh, why it is so satisfying. Remember yesterday when we fired this thing up for the first time? So yeah, I didn't finish mounting the exhaust exactly where it's supposed to go. I removed one of the old brackets and it's right here. The other one's right there and as you can see it rotted off the old muffler and it's not going to benefit in any, any way. So you gotta use these mounts right here, these bolts. And it looks like I have an inner and an outer to choose from. I made a mark on this piece of steel and I made a mark on the car so when those two line up, I'll get slightly off. That's okay though, when we bring gravity in the mix, it's gonna screw things up a little bit anyway, so being high is good at this point in time. Yeah, I kind of used a boring shape like a rectangular or a square, but we went three sides, triangle. I've already tested the machine muffler after I went ahead and welded that piece on there. That thing's looking sweet. I ground off the tacks there, and they also ground the tacks off there. Now, I am going to mount this right on the car right now. However, I'm not going to drop the car and drive the car because as I told you guys yesterday, the differential isn't, uh, well, it's not mounted the best. So instead of jacking this thing down just to see what that looks like, I'm gonna go ahead and start taking care of the differential. Um, I guess I can just leave that right off there. Take this wheel off that's uh, kind of already off. Take that wheel off and then just start taking a whole bunch of other bolts and nuts apart. And then we'll drop that rear differential. And yes, I saw it in the comment section, this is welded. Remember, I welded it up. It's locked up like a safe store full of safes. Which you can imagine is pretty locked up. Remember you guys, there's only one more day of the Machine Merch GoPro giveaway. Whether you get a sweatshirt or a Super Froggy Fresh t-shirt, decal, hat, anything for every order, you get an entry. So if you buy a decal and a hat, under one order, that's one entry. If you buy a decal and then five minutes later you buy another decal, which a few of you have done to better your odds, that's two entries. You did it right. There's only one more day away and somebody's gonna get this awesome kit. I feel like I'm a naked gun. There's six bolts back there that hang onto the CV axle to the differential. I removed those. I also got the driver's side done. Now we're gonna have to get down and dirty and see what's under here. That needs to be uh, disassembled. One thing I gotta bring up. Please tell me they fired the guy that came up with this creeper. Check out the clearance on this wheel. It stops. It doesn't have enough clearance to get past that. Same with that one. The wheel hits. On every other one, they bypass it. I mean, come on. 
That must have been a Friday decision or something. Here's the driver's side CV axle. Here's the passenger side CV axle. Clearly off. And this mount on the differential is good. That mount on the differential is good. However, the strength of this bolt in that hole has been compromised. I got the diff out of this car and I've already drilled, well I've drilled 90% of this hole. This is where that bolt used to go. And this thing's all, look at all, look at all the filings here. Look at that. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna go up a size and I'm gonna keep it standard. I'm gonna run a grade eight bolt. I just got confirmation that the store does sell the bolt that I'm going to tap. On this kit, all the standard sizes are on this side, but for some reason there was a half inch over on this side. So I was going to tap it with a 7 16. But we're going to go all the way up to a half inch. And we're not going to do coarse thread. We're going to do fine thread. Which means a stronger grip and a beefier bolt. I should never have to take this differential out for this bolt at least. Ever again. All my bolts getting delivered. I figured I'd give you guys an update on the Jeep. As you guys can see, we got some flat tires. We got one there. This guy's not as bad, but he is soft. Let's see how our last one fair. Oh my goodness, that one's the worst. Holy crap, that one's completely flat. I got really, really good news about the Jeep. I got word on Friday that they were sending the PCM out, so maybe the PCM's even at my house at, as we speak. I also got a lot more for it thanks to Tyler and Mitch. Here at 3D Machines, I'm definitely appreciative of any support on any level from any individual. Whether you can help with parts, manuals, or copping some super froggy fresh machine merch. These videos, this channel would not be able to run like a well-oiled machine without you guys. Like I was saying, when that PCM comes in, this thing's no longer going to be a shelf or something to lay your wood on. <laughs> Uh, I guess I, that, that was a play on words. Several bad puns later. Things are definitely gonna start getting done. Maybe one day I'll have a complete fleet. Wouldn't that be something? I'm underneath the BMW, and you can see the differential right here. We got it up in the car. I got my new bolt in here, but the cool thing is, is it's not in here anymore. Danny, let's see where the bolt is now. This is the bolt now. There's rubber bushings to dampen what this differential does when you, you know, give it some horsepower and it starts torquing around. Well, as you can see, that's not really doing anything. That's just wrapped around our bolt. So that's not really gonna do anything for us. So Danny helped me do the hardest part here, putting the diff in. Now we gotta go ahead and take it right back out. How many times is this? And this will probably be the fifth time I've ever taken this thing out, maybe sixth. It's not the worst thing in the world, it is just awkward and heavy. Luckily the jack and, and another person operating the jack helps tremendously. But that's where our bolt was and you can see that's clearly missing a whole bunch of rubber. So I'm going to go ahead and tear this differential out. And then what I'll do is I'll order the ne neoprene ones I do believe. Um, it's a little harder ride but it, they're stronger. I replaced the, the back two, I do believe, when I took it out the first or second time. Because this thing has three of those. Danny, you ready to rip this thing out? Hell yeah. <laughs> there, I'm standing up again, and the diff is out for the second time in one day. I've come up with a plan. I'm going to replace these rubber ones that I just replaced. Like a, a, They only probably have two hours on them, but I'm going to replace them with the heavy duty neoprene ones. I'm also going to do a fluid change. I'm gonna push more towards the preventative maintenance so we're not pushing this thing in and out. Well, frankly, as often as changing your underwear, unless you're like Dan, you do it every you know week or two. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you, my bad. That's gonna get the girl's attention. <laughs> no problem, man. They call me the wingman. I'm sorry we're not going to be able to drive you today, baby, but uh, it's sometimes how it goes. Like I said earlier in the video, there's only one more day to the GoPro giveaway and the mounts. Yes, this stuff right here. All you have to do is go to machinemerch.com, get yourself something froggy fresh, a t-shirt, a sweatshirt, a hat, a decal, anything. Every order equals an entry. Go ahead. You only got 24 hours, one day. Hopefully those parts come in reasonably quick so we can remove those jacks, get those tires on the ground so we can get our diff installed and our new set of pipes. I got a lot of supporters with the new pipes and how ridiculous they are. And then I have a couple people that are hating on it or saying that the exhaust is weird. That's okay. If I don't have haters, then I'm not doing something right. I'll see all you ladies and gentlemen soon. Be original, be different, be a machine. Have a good day. Yeah.